Okay, this little video is going to show you how to create a 2-beep and to accurately place it on your default desk. First, before we get started, we need to make sure a couple things are ready to go. And one is, let's make sure that we're looking at time code on our main counter. And under the nudge value, let's make sure that's set to time code and its nudge value is one frame. Now, why do we need a 2-beep? Two beeps will be recorded at the front of your mixes so that when you send them to the video editors, they can be accurately placed against picture. Without a two beep, the video editor is sort of guessing what the start time of your music or audio mix will be. Sure, maybe they'll get it close, but one way to make sure it's absolutely right is to give them a two beep. We need to create a new track to record our two beep on, so I'm going to click here, Shift Apple End, create a new mono audio track. And let's name that track 2-beep. Now, what is the 2-beep technically? It is a 1K tone that exists for one frame of video. So we need to create a 1K tone. So I'm going to highlight a little bit of our 1K, or a little bit of our 2-beep track here. And then go up to Audio Suite, Other, Signal Generator. And it is set to 1000 hertz already, so I'm just going to render. And that will take our highlighted section of timeline and fill it with 2-beep. Now that I have a 2-beep here, and we can zoom in to see that it is just a 1000 hertz, I need one frame of that. I've probably got too much of it, so I'm going to tab up to the beginning of it and nudge one frame. How do I know I'm nudging one frame? Because before we got started, we set our nudge value to one frame. Hit nudge. There we go. Separate the region with B and delete the extra. There it is, a beautiful 2 beep. 1000 hertz for one frame. Now, that's great. The problem is when we zoom out to work, that thing is so small, it's hard to even distinguish between it and the cursor. I like my 2 beeps to be a little bigger. So, what we're going to do is we'll highlight the 2 beep and then we will click and drag. I'm holding the shift key. And I'm clicking, and as I drag, I'm going to look at the length up here. I'm going to make this about a second long. There it is, one second long. So now I've highlighted a 2 beep, and I've highlighted one second of dead space after it. If I consolidate the region with Shift Option 3, it creates a new audio file that's a combination of not only the 2 beep, but the dead space after it. If I zoom out, that's much easier to see on the timeline now that it's a second long. So now we've created our 2-beep. Where does it need to go? The 2-beep should always be placed at the 58 second mark on the timeline. Maybe it's at 58 seconds, maybe it's at 1 hour and 58 seconds, but it's always going to be at a 58 second mark. And then the trick is your audio mix starts at exactly at the 1 minute mark. So we need this to go to the 58 second mark. And the best way to do that is to go to Spot, click on it with the hand, and under the start time, just type in 5800. There it is. To ensure that it's in the correct place, I always like to go up here to the counter, delete it, go to 5800, enter, and then zoom in and make sure that 2-beep is right where it needs to be. So now you've got a 2-beep, and it's in the correct place. Now where does that 2-beep need to go? Well, here, by default, it's going straight to our output so we can hear it. That's handy, but we also need to record it. So what I'm going to do is hold the Control key and route this track to multiple locations. Holding the Control key, click. I want this to go to my mix print bus so it gets recorded on my on the front of my mix and then I want it to go to my submixes so I'm still holding the control key and I click and I route it to the VTX print and in this case the sound effects print and I also want it to go to the music print so now my 2 beep should be going to all of my print record tracks let's set this up to loop I'm going to highlight a little chunk of it shift Command L. We can come down here to our print tracks, put them on input, and I can see my 2 beep is going to be recorded on all of my mixes. 
and that's how you create a two beep track, route it to all the correct places, and how to make a two beep to stick on it.